So I need to go through a storm to get there, but that's probably... You know what? Let's see. Let's see what happens. So is there anything else I need for this trip? I, sh I have a lot of repair stuff. I've got a spare tire, I even got a spare panel if that panel breaks. I think I should be fine for the most part. Uh, more beer. Let me grab more beer. Okay. Your is filled, cat is pendant, on we go. Find a way to the well. Do you think Timmy has fallen down the way? So it's going to be, I think, this, the, essentially the same road uh, route I took last time, right? So we're gonna go E6 and then we're gonna go C4 and so on. Now I have to say, like, fuel consumption wasn't it? it two big tanks. I've realized if you have like two extended tanks in a bank seat, that's a massive amount of fuel. Even this engine that consumes quite a bit. It's doing fine there. Let's get us some driving music going. You know, if I'd been really smart, I would have brought maybe a replacement wind turbine. I think the wind is the most important of my energy generating devices. And if it's like, you know, I can repair it if it just gets damaged, but if it gets outright destroyed or snatched or something like that. There'd be no way for me to do anything about it. I have no idea what those blue symbols on the map are, by the way. I also have no idea why I'm going this way, because honestly, this is sort of the wrong path. Or is it? No, we will we'll just keep going. This should work. grabby one but I do have my trusty shield so oh, can I squeeze past here I have a feeling there is a lot of crap on the road suddenly it's almost as if the anomaly doesn't want can I you know I'm really curious what the resolution to this whole thing is. Like if we figure out where the anomaly comes from, is there a, if there is some sort of... Oh shit.
Fix electrician skin. Oh, please tell me I brought electrician kits. I bought mechanic kit, ceiling kit. Oh, damn it, this is the one thing. I Why did that bring electrician kits? No, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. How did I forget that? I need a battery, copper wire, and electronics. Oh, I just hit myself in the hand. You know, the one, the one thing that I didn't bring. So I was contemplating what am I forgetting, now we know the answer. What are the odds that this has what I need? Well, it does not have what I need. I mean, those resources are not that scarce, so maybe we'll find them later on this map on the next map. There are some... There are quite a few uh, broken cars here, right? I don't need flares, I don't need glass. I suppose... Would have been too nice to find the stuff here. Technically, there's supposed to be a road here. No, no, this is not there. Should be a road somewhere in this direction. is if you want to like put your car into brake right you have to hold it until it uh, the, the thing is fully there oh there's a battery that's something that we need eh? now we just need wires i think Oh, for crying out loud, now a tire is...
because now a tire is making problems. Well, I brought ceiling kits, so uh, hooray for them. And I hit myself in the head with my trunk. <laughs> it's not the first time, it won't be the last time. Crude door, I don't need a crude door. have no need for them. So this is only, I think, the first map on our trip. And already my engine is like damaged. This will be fine. Why again you don't need roads? Well, I might need an engine. I might need a repaired engine. Eerie darkness combined with abductus, great. Oh, I need electronics and a wire. Should be a house here, right? Is there something here that I? Steel plates into tree candy. Interesting transmutation.
still not what I need. I don't like that laughing sound. I think those are abductors. it coming to abduct me? I don't think so. Good evening Salt Miner Gaming. How easy is this game? Uh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, there's an abductor. It's not that hard. I'm getting out of here. I've died once so far. I mean, it depends a bit on how hard you make it for yourself. In a way. Because... You, you know, you can... Uh, you can decide how dangerous of missions you kind of want to take on. And how quickly you want to run away in your And how many risks you want to take. So there is a sort of... Oh shit. Oh shit. So you, you do have a certain choice with risk. So... If you say 10 being the hardest, maybe a 4. But you can increase that by making certain decisions, let's just say. This game has a lot of potential to fuck around and find out. <laughs> but nobody forces you to do that. Wait, I've lost two tires. That's... That's not great. I mean, there go all my ceiling kits that I brought. And I still haven't found what I needed for my electrician skin. Ah, it's a fun game. It's a fun game. If, if you like to go around, upgrade your car, you know, collect resources and, shot and such. Ah, okay, the next area doesn't have a... Well, oh no, wait, is this one of these areas? Is it bad story sapping again? I do have something to recharge my battery, I think, though. Aside from all of my uh, engines. Yeah, battery sapping and concussive blasts. Like, if you die in this game, essentially you lose some of the stuff on your car. 
but you you basically you go back so you lose some resources if you die and you can actually uh you can reclaim like then then your your car is is a wreck on the map and the uh, stuff that you've lost you can sort of reclaim it if you go back if you dare going back so you know even death is not the end <laughs> Even death is not in. I mean, why, why can't I find a place with electronics? And why did I not bring, like, I brought everything except electrician's kits. I mean, I'm also already out of ceiling kits, but not because I didn't bring any, but because my tires just uh, keep breaking. I do still have a spare tire though, so, you know, I could, worst comes to worst, I could just replace the entire tire. What's with those giant tubes here? You know, I think there should be a house around here where I could... Uh, maybe I'm getting lucky and I find some electronics. Is that even a house though or is that something else? Looks like a house. Come on, they might have a TV that I can scrap. Wait, nothing. Oh no, there is still no electronics. I mean, I mean, they, come on, they, they could have uh, had a computer here or so that's scrap paper. Now they are just mean. Crowbar shift that sounds interesting. I don't like the sound that's coming from over there. Oh shit, there is a storm coming. Yeah, we need to get going. We need to get going. Oh shit, battery is almost empty. Oh shit. Yeah, battery sapping is no joke. Especially if there is neither solar, nor wind, nor rain. We escaped the meteorites.
What do you use this actually? Like where is the battery? Shouldn't that be somewhere here? It's the end. Oh, there is the battery. Okay. Why can't I close the door? There we go. Oh shit. I think that was what they call a concussive blast. Oh yeah, there are also exploding crates on the road. It's gonna hurt. still looking mostly intact if it weren't for that one electric blast that zapped my engine and me failing to bring the kids and then me failing to find electronics we would be doing well anyway okay there, there we go the well find a way into the well okay so it looks like we are just driving down a straight road the end of the road soon we'll finally see for ourselves what caused the mass hallucination and what tobias and alan died for and whether it was all worth it okay francis yeah i wonder Thank if I had this will really teleport us and you had every reason not to Getting to this point together with you, it makes me feel like my old self again. It's been an honor to watch you work, Dr. Turner. These okay. power readings, are they real? I, I can't even begin to guess what could be outputting this much radiation. Some sort of energy reservoir, a massive fission reaction, or a, a portal. Atlantis. Atlantis. <laughs> okay. If this thing really leads us to Atlantis, I'm turning in my PhD. God, if only Shouldn't. Tobias were here to see it. Shouldn't Atlantis be under an ocean? For once. All right, driver, you're almost to the threshold. Remember, Francis and I have got your back. Once you get that car to the well, we'll keep the gamma ray burst under control for as long as we can. Whatever happens, whatever state you find yourself in, the Octavice will be your safety net. Use it. Get back to us, you hear me? Ready when you are, driver. So, I'm definitely activating my shield here. This doesn't look like Atlantis. This it's looks like an evil opening. tree. Godspeed, driver. Let's enter the evil tree. Hoppy! Hoppy! Wait, Did where's my car? What's the energy output? Damn it, Alan, I'm fine. Uh, that light nearly blinded me. C can you read it? Uh, yeah, uh, let me see. Five. 500 kilojoules? Hoppy, what is this? The future, I call it. 
Limb waves. This was supposed to happen, right? It because it did look like I took damage, but my, my health bar is gone. Surely this means I'm invincible. Right? Coffee delivery. <laughs> oh, Alan, gosh. Is it that time already? So, uh, about leaving off. I was thinking oh, about my Christmas. Yes, maybe. I just need to solve this instability issue. I love to think about leaving the Olympic Peninsula like this. Yeah, there's always more to do. I know. I'm sorry. And I love you for it. I'm just wondering if you'll really be able to walk away from all this. It's okay if you can't. You abandoned the world to work here beside me. Fair is fair. Lentech is a world-changing discovery. Your world-changing discovery. Ernest isn't even a consideration. We agreed to have children. And I'm not having them in this hellhole. Good, because I'd love to have eight. <laughs> then I hope you're ready to carry at least half of those yourself. I love you. I love you. I still don't understand where those guys actually are. They have to be somewhere inside the zone, right? But why have I never been able to physically drive to it? Like, where, where on the map are they? Or would there have been a way to reach them? Am I going to reach? Am I going to meet them at some point? I probably not. Probably because of... I mean, I assume it's because this is, you know... A game with a small development team. So they probably didn't have the resources to properly animate characters, right? Like, if you look down, you don't see your feet or such. Animating characters is... Actually, not the easiest. Okay. Ow. Tobias, the movers are here. Wait, why aren't you packed? I ain't going. The evacuation orders... Can... Evacuation orders can go to hell. We leave and we never see the inside of these walls again. All the things we've been investigating. The ripple, the echoes from the swamp, they'll all fade away. I'm going to stay and chase down these stories. Wherever they take me. Tobias, I... Stay here. With me. Yeah, that didn't turn out so well, did it? You here to quote? I'm here to deliver the committee's decision. You have been found guilty of doctoring experimental data. This action is in clear violation of art of scientific integrity. Judgment has been rendered. You may stay and work, but your clearance will be lowered to level three. So I'm to be a glorified flash cleaner. Take it as a win. You could have been court-martialed instead. Yeah. I'm sure you would have liked that much better. What I like has no bearing on this decision. See you on Monday, Dr. Cook. Okay. Oh, I didn't take damage this jump. Driver, driver, do you read me? Driver, you passed through some sort of opening. We, we managed to hold it steady, but the energy expulsion is growing. We don't have much longer. If you can hear this, you need to get back now. Really? Hey, look, the gang's back together. Tobias? I, um, uh, I never told you how grateful I was that you stayed behind in the zone with me. These years... Best of my life. Foraging for mushrooms, slogging through swamplands, combing through hours and hours of terrible field recordings. Not a single moment wasted. Thank you. For everything. It was all you. You made me feel capable. That anything was possible. That I wasn't some second-rate scientist. All my happiness was thanks to you. And I'm afraid... I'm afraid of how I'll survive without you. I'm not. You got this. You always have. 
Hey, Appy, Alan sends his regards. And he wants to know why you haven't taken his advice yet. <laughs> What advice would that be? Is that a gumbaru on your dash? Oh, I'll be damned. Ah, he noticed. Bye. Until next time. Bye. Tobias? Tobias! Driver, if you could hear this, we can't keep the well stable for much longer. Wherever you are, come back. I mean, I'm surrounded by TVs that send me warning signs. This is fine. The biggest question is, where is my car? Warning, caution. Yeah, this is fine, this is fine. Even more warning signs. Oh, now we're getting to yellow. My car is back. Nice. And my screen is uh, having some slight interference issues. Okay, I'm not sure what I just did. Nice music. Oh, I think things are trying to eat me. I suspect I want to go to the giant red thing there in the end. Ooh, ah, it's trying to everything is trying to kill me. My door is breached, that's fine. For once our tires seem to be doing okay. Anything we can do to stabilize things on your side. Punching it as hard as I can. Oh, I'm going towards the light, right? No, 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 leave my car alone, leave my car alone. Francis, hold tight! I can't! The, the face, it's deep sinking! Driver, punch it! Go! What do you think I'm trying to do? They are, they are trying, everything is trying to stop me. This, this is not ah we, we we made it we made it there you go you made it back driver all in one piece it looks like and no sign of the remnant's energy signature anywhere in that car you're free but the car's maintained its link to you fascinating We'll never know how far the Remnant's obsessions wormed into your head, but you should be safe from it getting any worse. In okay. theory. Abby, I'm sorry. You didn't get to talk to Alan again. We managed to pull off the near impossible. And the first thing you do is apologize? Sorry, I, I mean... Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, it was Tobias's fault. He hogged the frequency all for himself yet again. You heard him too. I did. That means I didn't imagine that last conversation with Alan. And you know what else? What? That your theory was right. And Tobias okay. called it. All that bluster, and he ended up showing us scientists a thing or two. Those moments we heard, they were all from the past. Being inside that well somehow allowed the remnant to access those imprints and replay them. But Tobias's voice wasn't from the past, it was from somewhere else entirely. But where? And how? No clue. Do me a favor. Once you figure it out, don't 
don't bother telling me. <laughs> I'm leaving the zone. I'm sorry, what? Alan came to tell me goodbye, and that I was forgiven 37 years ago. <laughs> I didn't listen. So now, finally, I'm going to take his advice. I should have left the zone a long time ago. But if What's the we it was this, Paul maybe there's a way to speak to him again. I heard what I needed to hear. It only took me 37 years to listen. <laughs> anyway, all that sounds like a young scientist game. It's not for me anymore. Francis, you decide what to do from here. You can carry the torch and continue the research, or get out of this cursed place and find your own way. It's your decision. And driver, you're free now. You can do what you want from here. But if you'll allow an old woman one last hope, stay here with Francis. There's so many more stories for the zone to tell. And the both of you are young enough to listen. My ears are bad. And I refuse to hear them. I've removed all access restrictions to my systems, Francis. The helm is yours. Uh, wait, I... I don't know if I can do this alone. You're not alone. You've got clear eyes, ears open to the impossible, and the driver. Dr. Cook? Driver? It's been a pleasure. This is Dr. Ophelia Turner. Signing off. Abby? But like, could uh, have just left the zone all this really? time. Well, I, um... A driver, if you don't mind sticking around with me. Oppy was right. There's still so much of the zone that we still don't know about. But with your help, we can tell those stories. I, I'm no Oppy. But I'll do the best I can. You're no longer bound to the car. But it stayed with you, and will continue to protect you as you travel the zone. Go on, then. As long as you're willing to drive, I'm along for the ride. <laughs>